Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Lost Death DLC. I'm on my stamina necromancer this time with an unusual dual sword and board build instead of dizzy spam. I'm using the scythe, the stamina one, which deals around 3 to 4k AoE damage. On top it applies the hemorrhaging status effect. The enemies take bleed damage and also applies the minor mangle, which means 10% less HP for them. And it also heals by quite amount a lot to be honest, especially against 5 or more targets. As you can see here on the screenshot, it heals sometimes almost 10k burst heal. Really strong spammer, but I never used it before and I'm impressed. Let's take a look on the build. Front back with its reprisal. Heats a ton of bleed damage over time. Look at the tooty by the way, 25k and it's unbuffed. Really powerful front bar set. Back bar as defensive set, still Mara's Balm. I've been using it since my Stamina Warden. They changed it twice. First they decreased the healing by 50%. Now they've added a cooldown. A 1 second cooldown for the first effect. And added a strong heal for the second effect. It's not only a purge now, it heats by a lot. As Mythic Marquin for extra weapon damage and armor, combined with one trainee and Balog as monster set. I'm on four heavy pieces and three medium, two sturdy, the rest impen, full prismatic glyphs, full infused on the jury with two weapon damage glyphs and one prismatic region glyph. Definitely needed. Since I use Stalking Blast once now, the Magic Morph, which deals more damage than the Stamina one. Front bar 2 Maces. For extra penetration in Niln and Sharp. Flame Poison Damage Enchant and Back Bar, Sword Board, Powered and Sturdy. With the Stamina Drain Poisons or sometimes the Escapist Poisons. Skills. Camouflage Hunter for Minor Berserk and Major Savagery. And Slayer extra weapon damage, just slotted. Then Stalking Blast Bones, really powerful the Magicomorph, deals up to 50% more damage. Then the Scythe, like I said, is spammable. Mortal Decoy for Magicka, Stamina Region and a ton of healing. Daddy Cloak for Mage Evasion. Then Dawnback of Smiting still is aggressive ultimate. Backbar Pulse Armor for Minor Major Breach. Race Against Time or Snare Removable. Vega Self Heal. Summons armor or resistance buff. Spirit Guardian for 10% unique damage mitigation and a ton of healing. And Spellball as defensive ultimate. Ray still done Since this is also my PvE char, Nord and Imperial would be probably better. As Mundus the Serpent for Exus Nam region. Lava Food Soup as buff food. 44 points in health and 20 in stamina. Like this, we are around at 30k HP. Potions, I use mainly the Brutality Potions, since we don't have access to Major Brutality, we need those. CPs, Biting Aura, Master Arm, Steady Aim and Ironclad, Sustained by Suffering, Slippery, Pains Refuge and Celerity. Quick talk about the combination, pretty simple. Pre-buff yourself always with Race Against Time and Deadly Cloak. Then Pierce Armor. Try to stay a little bit far away for Stalking Blast Bones to increase the damage. Then start with Stalking Blast Bones, into Scythe, DB and Griffin. And then the end just spam Scythe. Keep in mind Scythe brings the enemy off balance for 7 seconds. Just use a fully charged heavy attack or a medium attack to stun your enemy. Pretty simple. Here we go again with some gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.